Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a Morning Market Prep video for September 26th, 2022. Well, hey guys, I'm back in the saddle here. I'm excited to get moving with this market this morning, but obviously not so excited about the price action movements in the market this morning. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Thanks for giving me a couple of days off. I went um, into South Dakota, did lots of hiking. I've got sore legs this morning, but uh, truly enjoyed my time in nature. So um, I may share some pictures with that um, as we go on throughout the week. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. First off, um, our diamond. Boy, that's pretty darn ugly here with the Dow breaking down below 30,000 level, that kind of key psychological level in the market and making new 2022 lows on the day. And unfortunately, if we take a look at this chart, we'll notice that um, we're looking a little bit on the bearish side again yet this morning, but it is much better than it was overnight. We are looking for a gap down at the open but um, um, fingers crossed we don't go down and retest the overnight lows because if we do that if the future should retest the overnight lows we could see new lows also in the spy qqq and iwm well if we take a look at this we know that we're in an oversold condition but boy there isn't a whole lot of bullish sentiment out there to give us inspiration to rally but if we can find that inspiration to rally maybe up into here is where we can look for those rallies to come into place here in the diamonds look for that next resistance level up and unfortunately guys I would suggest that that next resistance level up would be just an opportunity to short now keep in mind if we continue to fall we've got a little bit of price support right in here that we might bounce off of uh, in that chart and let's uh, watch that close because if that does not hold well we've got um, uh, some pretty ugly downside moves that could occur if that does not hold so watch carefully here on that chart certainly our weekly if we look at our weekly chart the technicals here are pretty ugly here and you can see if this area does not hold us as support then um, we may have some um, pretty ugly days ahead of us. Now, if we take a look at our SPY, there is a little bit of hope here. Our SPY has not made a new low for 2022. So there is that hope that we could hold that 2022 low here in that support and get a little relief rally. Now, if we get some relief in the chart, well, just keep in mind, um, we've got significant resistance levels above to deal with in the chart. If we can pass through this one, there is even stronger one here that we're going to have to deal with. And we'll have to just really be cognizant of the fact that we are in downtrends and very strong um, selling in the market. And when that occurs, we can start to see kind of a pile on um, effect that can occur. I don't think we're at the capitulation point here in the market just yet. As a matter of fact, I think we're going to need some rally back before that might occur. But be watching carefully for that possibility that those bears could really pile on here um, um, eventually. So watch that close. And again, if I look at that weekly chart, you can see if we don't hang on on right in here then there is that real possibility um, that we move on lower to test some bigger support levels in this chart so watch that close let's take a look at our technicals here if we look at our technicals here on the daily obviously very very bearish and if we look at the weekly well that 200 day moving average looks like it could really draw that um, SPY to it so watch that carefully that's a fairly common pattern weekly failure at the 50 day moving average and a test of the 200 day would not 
not be at all out of the question. If we take a look at our um, QQQ, our NASDAQ here, well, I'm also trying to hold on to some price support in the chart right in here, and we haven't made those new 2022 lows. So that is that hopeful sign, and we've got some price support in here maybe to, to give us that, uh, that hope that we can bounce from here. And we certainly are oversold in the short term. If we look for a rally, we would look for a resistance right up in this area here to uh, might be it might be a little bit challenging and if that does break then right in here would be a substantial level of price resistance and then keeping in mind our trends are certainly to the downside um, albeit oversold and that chance of a bounce would certainly help us a lot um, if we take a look right in here on the weekly you can see that support area that we're trying to cling to um, if we retest overnight lows in the futures, we could easily break that low. So watch that close. And then if we look at our technicals here in our chart, um, obviously the daily chart, pretty darn bearish here. And the weekly, well, once again, we're right down there around that 200 day moving average. So that could um, provide that bit of price support to give us that little bit of a bounce um, to the upside. So fingers crossed on that if you're a bull. Um, let's take a look at our IWM. Now IWM has been really interesting and in holding up stronger than other indexes, but boy, the last few trading days, we've certainly hit a watershed event here in um, the Russell. And and as you can see, IWM um, has not taken out the 2022 lows. We are threatening that potential this morning. Keep an eye on that. If we can find some reason to bounce, um, some lift off of there, there's a pretty substantial resistance level in the Russell right in here that we'd want to be keeping an eye on. And if we can pass through that, well, maybe up into here, but remember, that keeps us still in this overall bearish downtrend. So pretty bad situation here on the Russell as well. Technically, if we take a look at that, our uh, daily um, um, chart here, certainly a long ways from being bullish. And our weekly, well, we've already passed through that 200-day moving average. So unfortunately, what typically happens when we break a 200-day moving average, we could really seek out the 500, and that would be a weekly 500 in the chart. Now, before that occurs, we typically get some kind of a bounce before that occurs. So I would say this oversold condition in the market, we're probably closer to some kind of relief rally than we are to just really sinking hard or getting that capitulation. But I'll tell you, with our currencies fluctuating um, as much as they are, uh, that could be, um, you know, I wouldn't want to hold my breath. When we look at the U.S. dollar, U.S. dollar continuing to strengthen, and you probably saw last night that the sterling hit a new record low against the dollar and we see the yen, the yuan, everything falling against the strength of the US dollar here. That's creating some major pressures in economies around the world. So you'll want to keep an eye on that. If we look at our VIX, our VIX um, certainly popped this resistance area here that we've been seeing in the chart and we are following that little upside trend but remember I've talked about this before and we we have quite a little bit of price resistance in the VIX right up in here that could prevent us from breaking through up here but I'll tell you it's it's up above this area here where I think capitulation could begin we've seen that before in the market capitulation is when uh, traders uh, just really throw up their hands and they they bail mom and pop investor calls their mutual fund companies their 401ks and just says get me the heck out of this I'm done and when that occurs the market kind of capitulates and, and we rally hard um, in the VIX to the upside so watch for that I wouldn't expect that just yet I think we're oversold but um, anything is possible so watch for that possibility that we could rest or pull back in here maybe retest the support area before for um, uh, things like that could occur. So that's 
fingers crossed on that, I guess. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now our T2122 is going to give us our best hope um, of a relief rally. And as you can see, we are severely oversold here um, in T2122. And that would suggest at any point in time, doesn't mean today, doesn't mean the next minute, but what it does say is sooner than later, we should get some kind of relief in the market, get some kind of a bounce to pick us up out of here to relieve some of that selling. Now, keep in mind, some of those relief rallies can be very, very strong. And um, that short covering move can oftentimes make you want to jump long. But I want to I want to continue to reiterate as we rally back to those resistance levels in the charts, we really should be watching for that potential of the next short setup in the market rather than expecting this market is just going to race back to the upside. We have to keep in mind economies around the world continue to weaken and we continue to see a major inflation problem affecting um, 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 the consumer out there. So watch that close. Now the other thing we want to be taking a look at is our T2108. Now T2108 continuing to fall. Notice here we're quickly approaching these lows of 2022. Um, in T2122, so or T2108, this would suggest the number of stocks holding above the 40-day moving average is reaching a very oversold condition in the market, and that also helps us with that idea that we could maybe get some relief to uh, bounce that back up. But again, that doesn't necessarily mean we just zoom right back to the top considering the conditions that we have here in our market. So very bearish, kind of leaning into the idea that we could get some relief, but don't hold your breath for that. If we take a look at a T2107, whoops, T2107 is also going to echo that kind of an idea. We're reaching back down here. Notice that I, I kept talking about how this was hopeful that we were hanging in there on T2107, but boy, when it gave up, it gave up in a big way. And you can see that we have failed support levels um, here in the chart. So the only thing we have left here is the 2022 lows to maybe hold us in um, that price action level. So 18% um, of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average is not a bullish case for the market, but is it is one of those cases that you can make as we might be reaching that oversold condition and we might see that relief rally before too long. If we take a look at our T2101, well, well, our T2101 continues to show us um, the momentum is with the bears right now as they push on up. But they haven't broken out through these areas in here. So the good news is we may find some resistance in here and again, have a little bit of relief come into the market before too long. So watch that closely. If we take a look at our economic calendar for today, guys, our, uh, for some reason, the Econo Day calendar is down. So I'm going to use a different calendar here this morning. Um, we don't have a whole lot to go on here today to really get things uh, very excited here. We've got Chicago uh, Fed National Activity Report. Um, yeah. Um, may or may not be moving. The Dallas manufacturing report can sometimes move just a little bit. And then we've got uh, three Fed speakers, Collins, Bostic, and Mester, all speaking today. So uh, um, you never know what's going to happen as they continue on with this aggressively hawkish stance that they have here in the market. So watch that carefully and closely. Um, later on this week, um, we'll look at that later, but we continue on with lots of Fed speak. Um, things out there. We've got um, inventories and things coming this week. So uh, we've got some more challenging numbers potentially coming our way. Let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar, we have oh, a number of companies listed on the calendar today, but only one confirmed report for the day. And it's really not at all a notable. So there really are no notables. We have um, CHG that will be reporting today and I doubt anyone's going to be paying much attention to that today. We'll be focused more on the price action 
of the indexes and whether or not the SPY and QQQ can hold on to those support levels of 2022. Let's um, take a quick look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, please do me that favor. Click those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. And I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. It does mean the world to me. Also, I want to remind everyone that tomorrow I'm going to be doing a public e-learning session. Because I was gone, it was published that I'm just going to be doing a market review. But we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to talk about how we can profit from this bear market um, and, and, and realizing that it could last a while longer. So if you guys are available tomorrow night, I'll leave a link tomorrow in, in the video where you guys can come on over and uh, participate participate in that uh, meeting in the public e-learning room, then feel free to do that. Also, let's I, I want to take a second and thank everyone who supports the channel through Buy Me a Coffee link. I do truly appreciate it. That means the world to me. You guys are truly, truly awesome. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. And please keep in mind, guys, as bearish as this market is, pretty tough to find any great signals out there in the market. However, there are a couple of places that I want to point to you. When, when we see the dollar being this strong, then we do have to look to commodity prices, those potential commodity prices falling. And what has been interesting is we've been seeing energy holding up quite well until the last couple of days. Last couple of days, those energy uh, prices sinking hard and oil is uh, coming down again this morning pretty strongly. So what we'd want to watch for in here is if we can catch some support levels in here, watch for a bounce. And then if it bounces, we're going to look for that potential downtrend to continue in these charts. So watch carefully for that. Other places I think you might want to be keeping an eye on. If you take a look at TLT, now TLT has been struggling. And by the way, I hold a small position in this just, um, and I'm, I'm long on this, just um, watching for that potential reversal. Our bond yields continue to be very, very strong um, as those yields continue to rise here in the market. But eventually something's going to crack here. So when I'm looking at, in a market like this that is just so oversold and so many bearish things, I'm looking for clues. And so far there is no clue that we're going to get a relief in those bonds. But that's something to watch. Um, TLT, if we do finally break something here in this market, we would likely see those bonds start to rally. Um, and so keep an eye on TLT. That may be an opportunity here in the near future. I don't, wouldn't say it's anything that I would be jumping on right away. Let's take a look at um, um, some of these retail. Now, retail had a pretty rough day on Thursday and Friday pushing down. But I have to say I'm kind of encouraged by the fact that they have not just collapsed. We've got a lot of resistance here in Walmart. It may be if you're if you want to be a bull, you may want to find some of these places um, like some of these retailers that have held up pretty well. Um, BJ being one pulling back into support. Um, look for that area in here to maybe hold some support and that opportunity for some upside. But I have to tell you, on by and large, um, I would be looking at some of these inverse ETFs for long positions if you want to be long. Any rest or pullback in these charts that may set up that next opportunity to the upside, I would be keeping a close eye on RWM. Um, SH, um, SQQQ, if you like a little bit more le leverage, um, QID, um, DOG, um, DXD, um, be looking at um, T 
LTZA, um, any of these leveraged ETFs may be the next opportunity for a rest or pullback. These are the stocks that are bullish right now in the market. So keep a close eye on that. Now on the bearish side, guys, I think tech has got big challenges still ahead of it. Let's take a look at this AMD. And I've mentioned this before, that any rally back, I would watch for the opportunity to short. And here recently, we have certainly seen that. We can see right here in the chart where we rallied back up, we smacked right into price resistance in the chart, and then down, new lows on the year here. So as we per perk back up, these tech stocks are running into trouble. As long as those bonds, those bond yields um, continue to stay high, watch that closely. If we rally back, look for that next opportunity to short. Microsoft, as strong as Microsoft is, and I don't think Microsoft is a bad company, I don't think it's terrible, but I think we're in a different market situation where the Fed is actually fighting the market and we're restricting money supply. And when that occurs, tech typically has some issues or troubles. So keep an eye on this. Any rally back up into resistance levels in these charts, watch for that next potential opportunity to short on some of these tech stocks. Pretty ugly situation here for many of them. And I think we may have um, you know, a rough road ahead of us here for a while as economies around the world continue to weaken. So with that, guys, hey, I want to wish you all the very, very best today in your trading. Hopefully you're on the short side of this. We are in right way options. We've been making some great money to the downside, taking some beautiful profits on Friday while I was on top of a mountain. How about that? Uh, standing on a mountain, trading and um, closing out some nice profits uh, for the week. So hopefully you're on the right side of this market and profiting with us. With that, everyone, have an awesome, awesome day. We'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. And I want to wish you all of the best.